So we got one third of Flow City in here. Mm, the original. What's happening? We got Nino in the building. What's going on, big dog? What's going on, man? I remember the first, not the first, the second time that I met you, and we actually spoke this time. <laughs> we're at, uh, was it Virginia Avenue? Oh, Over Ann by, Avenue. Ann Avenue. Yeah. We, we pulled up, it was me, JR, Andrew. Illegal pulled up in his own car. He yep. was over there at the studio at the crib. And we all we all pulled up. I don't remember why we pulled up, mm-hmm. but I, when we I, were there. I had to invite you. Two thousand sixteen? I want to say sixteen, seventeen. Sixteen, seventeen. So we was we was uh we was at the crib with y'all, and y'all was working on music. Had it. You had everything lined up. <laughs> now and then something happened. The king of the castle came out. Mm-hmm. I'm not I'm not sure. I don't know his name. I don't oh, remember Debo? his name. But he came out, <laughs> in, yeah. What's his name? Yeah, that's, that sounds like a fit. It sounds like a fit. Came out in the tank top and sweatpants. <laughs> came out, I'm assuming he was lit. He, he put his arm around me. He was like, man, what's your name? I was like, man. I remember that day. And I was trying to get away. I was trying, I was trying to get out of here. But he was no oh, man. What's up, man? What's going on? That probably messed his whole experience. And, I, and I, was, I was trying to get out of there, man, because I, I saw something. In, I saw he had something in his pants. <laughs> and at this point in time, I was so close to him, I was hoping it was a gun. Yo! That's, that's kind of that's kind of gay, but hey. <laughs> no homo. So before you before you came up here, we had a we had a top five talking. We, we spoke and mentioned our top five, but then my top five was definitely Flow City. Mm-hmm. That was in my top five. I appreciate that, man. So how about you tell us how you got that started? You guys came together? Um, Were you guys always a trio? What was the story? It goes like this. It goes, we got to go back to Kirkwood because mm-hmm. me and Rocco always been tight, you know? And then I met him at like six, my man Gilly, and his cousin is Stax, you know, Ray, you know? And so his Rocco's cousin is Brown Sugar. You see mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So it was like I never a time where I didn't know her. So it was like all a family thing. That's why the chemistry was so tight. You know what I'm saying? So then it gets to the point where Rocco moves from in town. He moves from the hood, moves to the west side. And uh, that's like I'm like eight. Then fast forward basketball, we all end up at the same high school. Dax and them was actually a group first. Mm-hmm. I think bro got in trouble. He went away. <laughs> and then, like, this was real early on. Damn. This is like, you got to think we were young even when this yeah, was going on. The, so, 408. Yeah, this was, yeah. So, and then, you know, by me being around all the time, I just, this just became what it was. And we started making music. So, so was it all... Always under one was it under one uh, bandana as Flow like City entity? Yeah, was it all like yeah, we're, yeah. we're all Flow City well, and it's branched well, off to be well, three? Well, after well, one, once we came together, by the time Bro came home, he, it was more or less like we already like it was better. He had his own thing going on already, so it was better for him to be his own solo artist in anyway. Mm-hmm. But it was still like if you was to look at it like a label, it would still be everybody like mm-hmm. rocking out at that point in time, you know. Mm-hmm. So, but yeah, we agree like, yo, it's us three. Like, it right. fits, it works. So, when you guys got together, you, you said you, you came together, you, you lost a member for a little while, he came back, he started doing his own thing, but you're still mm-hmm. on the same umbrella. Well, yeah, yeah, it wasn't like, it wasn't even like lost a member, it was like a transition to where it wasn't, it wasn't like no pressure on like him, like, you know, still being, you know, with it because so much time went away before that like it was a different name it was like the youngins you see what i'm saying mm. so when when shit came together you know things got changed you know right, right. Yeah. okay yes you had to keep it pushing so how did you come over flow city you said you were the youngins uh i think yeah who named you i think uh i won't get at the brownie i think i'll give it to brownie and rocco i think don't get me lying <laughs> you know we got 10 plus years and so <laughs> look we talking like yeah, like oh eight, oh seven. Before, you know what I'm saying? This is yeah, before oh eight. So yeah, I think they were messing around. I think they were messing around with it because in that it was a transition period. In that period where you got their cousins, mm-hmm. you know, I'm st- we're still young, so you know we're talking teenagers. You know what I mean? So it was still like oh, it was just them, and then they came together, and then once we all clicked, and that's what it was, and that's 
that's how it came. But I think I'll give it, it it's brown and yeah. Mm. And rock. Oh, yeah, yeah that came so. I don't know how. I think they was messing around with the piano. I don't know. <laughs> For real. In the that's studio, but he still had the stew and wow. getting shit together. They, they had it from that long ago? Yeah, we always had the back room. And they like, that's one thing about Debo and, you know, Rocco's mom because they were so supportive right, of man. what he wanted oh, to do. Man. That's what gave us the that was a, leniency because she was the manager if and then Debo had, he was a DJ. as much effort behind what they did for Rocco. Yeah. Because he, anything, he played basketball. Do, anybody could do anything. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, like you could do anything. Yeah, when the family was, uh, supports. Okay, Dewan Harmon, shout yeah, out to Dewan. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. we were just talking about him today. Just bro, play yo, basketball. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's what we need you on the show, man. We need you on the podcast. <laughs> yeah, man. Come man, on, man, on yeah, here, man. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I was saying. I want to get. Yeah, yeah. Bro. But yeah, shout out to them because that's what made a lot of it possible. You know. So you say you guys got ten plus years. You guys are kind of on like hiatus now, right? Yeah. Well, we. The group necessarily would like it's done. You know what I mean? Well not okay. you know, like Brownie does shout her to own Ho- thing. Shout out to Hoochie Coochie. Yeah, you know, shout out to her. Uh so like it was a lot of things that happened in those times, like from fourteen I give it fourteen, fifteen, because I think like mm-hmm. we shot Express Yourself was the last video. Okay. And then mm-hmm. yeah, so she wanted to do different things, you know. Mm-hmm. And I think like after that, my mom passed and yeah. caught a case, dub died. Yeah, rest in peace, mom. Case. Popcorn. Yeah, rest in peace, of moms. Yeah. You know, rest mm-hmm. in peace, of dub. So it was just R. a R. lot dub. in that time, you know. And that's what just happened. Cause once she was like, she wanted to do her own thing. So then it just left me in Morocco, you know, in a sense. So, yeah. so, so the whole situation is done now. At this point in time, it's just it's just done. Yeah, I mean, like, it ain't like a done thing. Well, but I mean, it like, ain't, it ain't, it ain't like a fork in it, but you yeah, guys are yeah, chilling. Y'all yeah, chilling yeah. right now. I mean, now. like, yeah, we, yeah, yeah. we Y'all still, still doing your thing, but yeah, you're yeah. chilling. Yeah, yeah. You're yeah. chilling. Yeah. Everybody's still, <laughs> she's still working, we yeah. still working, you know. So, I think the last video I saw you guys is, was, was Go Mode. Go Mode. It was Go Mode. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's a big one. That's my favorite one, my favorite <laughs> I should, I should, like, had that idea to press the issue to shoot it that quick. So I was I was an advocate like I was always a believer like yo if anybody's gonna make it it's gonna be this group because mm-hmm. I, I listened to Ready Live I was like from from front to to back it's good music you know what I mean just just Thanks, I know you, you was a fan you focus yeah. on no, flows and lyrics fan. I was like this this is actually good music yeah like it's good yeah like no no hyping it up just because I'm from an area mm-hmm. like I'm just trying to support it was actually good, good music mm-hmm. it was good music that's where a lot. Um, with Rocco, you, like, okay, what got us in that door is him being able to record how he did and at that early on. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. And us being able to take advantage of being that young right. that early on. So you got to think, Kiss 101.7 was popping. With his mixing and mastering at that point in time then, got us in that door then, like with that uh, because the a and r's are saying well first of all who's recording it right who's making y'all sound like who's this? making y'all sound like this that's that gives us another check okay so then the music's you know good to get in the door mm-hmm. then they see us so you got the look the sound and you, you got, got the show. yeah you yeah, know what i'm saying the stage performing yeah. it's three parts you know it's a formula so yeah man mm-hmm. that's what that sound quality him being able to get you know that back then <laughs> Ahead, wasn't yeah, nobody it was, doing it. Was it. There's only a few people it was, it was I say from here doing that. Yeah. When did you first start? What like music? Yeah, not like the group, like you per se. Just um, well, you know the background is Sankofa mm-hmm. since three playing the djembe. You know, okay. I'm like a master drummer now. Okay. Um, and and doing that with them, you know, shout out to Mr. Salters for shout giving a look Mr. with Salters. the African Festival because we were the first. Hip hop yeah. act to perform at the African festival, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I remember. So that was big, but but from three from playing the drums till I think you know what the first time 
was we was in school and he had a freestyle battle. I'll never forget it. <laughs> with this white boy named Todd. Heavy oh, set yeah, white boy. Who you know who? You remember what I'm talking about? You remember what I'm talking about? Football player. And Todd. I'm gonna be honest with I you. I ain't even gotta stretch. I ain't gotta Gilly stretch to was imagine the that. First one. I remember one day I asked him, he was reciting a song, and I'm like, yo, how do you remember this? <laughs> I remember it like that. He like, yo, I just keep listening to it over and over again. Like yeah. I'm like, bet. And then he had a freestyle battle. We was in Central Middle. <laughs> Legend, legend in the making, that? though. Nah, I don't what even remember that. You don't remember the Todd, nah. the white boy? I remember Todd, though. Yo, I, I swear on everything I love, bro. Like, or it wasn't a battle. We was at the park and niggas was rapping. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. No, no just cap. Go with him. Just, just give go it ahead. to him, man. Nah, yo. I don't fact. even remember this. So <laughs> I never forget. Me, like, I never I forget. I remember it, Todd, bro. though. I, I remember, remember Todd. See, but Todd was, uh, you know, the kid who was like white Your boy. Your whole that action was all... inspired him to do music, yeah. and you don't even <laughs> remember. Yeah. remember. It, was, it was, it's like, yeah, it's like, you know, to be like, able, uh, for real, that's on everything on mom, like, facts, you know. <laughs> that's crazy. Real that's fact. Crazy. I remember that. <laughs> so you guys, you guys started. Obviously, you had a rise up. You was doing the, uh, mm. you had an A R looking at you mixing and mastering. Mm. You did the African festival, but somewhere along the lines, you decided to part ways. Mm -hmm. You decided to part ways, and I only noticed because of Money Tree. Mm -hmm. That's where I know. I was like, well, I see two members. Oh, see, what's crazy is Money Tree was Pre previously like, recorded, recorded. Money Tree was, you know, a way before like. It was me. Matter of fact, on Money Tree, it was me. Who was it? Rocco. It's that. And Bree. Yep. It's, it's yep. that. That's yeah. three, all three of us? Yep. Yep. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I, I don't think Brownie just didn't get on that. She just didn't want to. No, it was just like, you, you know, when people do songs, like, it wasn't like. Well, when they're pumping out hits like that. It, it, it wasn't yeah, even. It was just like a, it was just like a song, like. Because you got to think, okay, we'll put it to you how you was asking it the first time, like, with him being a part of it, or, or and still in a in a grand scheme of things, mm -hmm. and then we still having a group, we still have to incorporate everybody too. So it was a nice mixture to get to say like, oh, we got these three on the song, all all of the guys, mm -hmm. you know that you know that we with, you know what yeah. I'm saying. So mm -hmm. I think it was a it was a hit structured towards really already what Bree was bringing to the table that with that sound, you know. Right. So we didn't have to, you, you know, you just don't got force nothing, you know. Yeah. So what what year or what point in time was it where you guys decided you were gonna chill for a while? Um, it wasn't even like we decided we was going to chill. Like I said, it was just like a lot of things that happened. Yeah. So in in everybody's life, you know what I'm saying, individually. So it was like from after Express Yourself. Mm -hmm. So it's like 2014, 15, you know. So that's when we kind of chilled and focused on personal and whatever, whatever was going on, you know. Mm -hmm. That hey, you missed the session because we I, I heard you was working on something new oh yeah 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 we was actually just in the studio with uh boney shout out to him shout out um, to boney man was there last night hey, boney, and man. i actually stepped up on it like I, I was i was just there you know what i'm saying so and it's a track when you hear it it's just undeniably hot so <laughs> you, it, i'm not gonna miss the opportunity to you know get I back was, on it you know so yeah shout out to rocko too shout out to rocko so now that you guys, you took your break, you're all doing your own thing individually now. It looks like you got, she, Brown Sugar has Hoochie Coochie, mm -hmm. Rocco's mixer and mastering and getting this stuff. Was it on the video game he got it on? Was it a movie that he just mixed and mastered? Oh, he uh, has a placement on um, something he engineered on uh, 2K21. All right, yeah. so he got yeah, music yeah. on so actual video games, so he's out, yeah. he's out there. Yeah. That's, he's that's out big. there. He's mixing, yeah. One of the biggest moves. Yeah, so it's just low key, man. Right, and you, and you got new, you got new music coming out. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. So now that you all, have, you guys are kind of got your stepping back together. Should we be looking forward to a Flow City reunion? Um, I wouldn't say all that. You know, right. I would just say like, cause we still got everybody got a. We always play with the idea. Mm -hmm. You know, we ain't, we ain't never really go too far from each other. Like I said, it's family, so yeah. we still around. You know, it's but, possible. but uh, yeah, anything's possible. We just haven't, you know, I'm going to keep it real. We ain't really talked about, you know, really, you know, we played with the idea like, oh, we just get back. But, you know, it's a lot that happened to where you don't want to just hop back in the saddle when something happened again. Because what if something pops? Right. You going to leave again? Right. You know what I'm saying? 
Like, cause we invest, I invested time. I'm not, it ain't no, no lottie dottie with me. You know, we done mm. built something on this and one of the top people from here. If not, on, uh, out of five, if, on, if you had on your hand to put on, as far as touch levels, it's probably, we, on, we one of the five if they know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Man, you know so I mean? after, after you, we Toss do all that and you tell me you just don't want to do it. I mean, I, I love you, you know, mm. and I'm going to support you, you know, right. but dang you know what i'm saying all right so, so now i gotta redo what i you know what i mean yeah like, I just you. putting it all you know keeping it a stack you know so, so so was it events or was it just i don't want to be a member of this anymore oh yeah. it was it, it was more or less like she just wanted to change the same her you know she's doing her own different she has a different she feel is. so she she wanted to you know switch it up she didn't mm. want to it was easy for her yeah you know what i mean she wanted to do or... what she's doing now is what she wanted to wanted to do you know what i mean right. so right. her she's not really into you know she's different brownie really eclectic you yes. know punk rock you know the feel that's what made it so hot because it was diverse you know what i mean mm. so she was at the point where she wanted to do something else who am i to tell her no yeah. you know you gotta do yeah. what you, you want to do while you're living who i'm only human to know like that so now i gotta go back and now or remake you know what i'm saying something that we built which we had a winning formula Right. You know, mm-hmm. so now it's from deals mm-hmm. on the table to from meeting Missy to being at the Hit Factory to 106 from everything. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? It it's lot. not easy to just be like, oh, okay. Well, let's just stop. Let's like you starting this with everybody mm-hmm. and bro get a deal with the DJ. You know, let's <laughs> yeah. say, oh, you know, like yo, you know, I'm saying like freaking Ace Hood want to sign me. I'm gonna be his DJ. You know, I'm just popped up. I'm out of here. Yeah, yeah. Then you just, but <laughs> you gonna be for him. But you know, but let's just say y'all built this. Ace this is all for this. You know. Then what? You know what I'm saying? So it's like, dad, you going? But dang, bro, like, can I said he need a ghostwriter? I'm definitely leaving. <laughs> oh, 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 go get the money by any chance. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, I mean speaking right. as a, you know, uh, they should pass yeah, I, yeah, I get what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm, feel, I'm pretty sure illegal always come back. Yeah, yeah. When he have free time. Yeah, no, yeah. I'm pretty sure he always come back. He always come. Yeah, he always come home. You gotta come home. Nah, I don't want to brush over. You see, you mentioned a lot of accomplishments real quick in that moment, real quick. So I don't want to brush over that. You mentioned Missy. So you met Missy Elliott. Yeah, we got the chance to fly out to Miami my first time flying. And, um, First time on a plane. Yeah. Just, well, like, you know what? To be honest, I don't even know if it was in Miami or Virginia because it was a couple of times. You right. see what I'm saying? But one of them, what we did fly to Miami, got the chance to, you know, meet them and, and perform in front of them. Both of them. It's like they t- Missy tweeted us, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But it wasn't a lot. You, they didn't really want, you know, when you get in those positions, they don't want you to be like on some groupie type stuff. So you're yeah, not trying to ask like for pictures there. and all. We was on the tour bus, had to write a song. They wanted to see, you know, what was up with that and um, see if we could produce a song, you know, write a song mm-hmm. in a certain amount of time. So then they sent the writer, like one of their folks that they had that was Damn. on the team and seen what we had. We already That's... had it written. They like, oh, you don't even need no help. Actually, matter of fact, mm. shout out to Jazzy. She wrote the Don Tolliver. She wrote, she... Her name is Jazzy. It's dope by accident. She's a uh, she's a writer, and she wrote the um, internet money with um, uh, what is it? Uh, Zanny boy, suicide dolls, brand new bag. Oh yeah. yeah. College girl, yeah, no, 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 no. With, um, yeah, 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 she wrote that song. So, in fact, I got so to meet her. Got me she know me. Dude. Like, I got yeah. to meet her. I had her number. You know yeah. what I'm saying? She's real tight. Um, um, but yeah, she came on the tour bus and like, yo, y'all great. Y'all don't need nothing. You know what I'm saying? Because they're on, they're signed to that production label, you know? Or, or was at the time or whatever. But yeah, man, Petey Pablo on the uh, tour bus. He was <laughs> came home from jail. <laughs> yeah, but Tim was there. Yeah, yeah, man. It was an it was a blessing experience, bro. That was 2011. 2011. I was in time. Virginia for the meeting him for the first time. 2011 September. I remember because my folks died. Then uh, rest in peace, Zo. Yeah, he was in San Cole for. Okay. Oh, yo, Zo. Yo, Zo. Oh, and I put man. that on Ready to Live two days after Zo died. Piece, we was in VA spitting flames for Tim Squad. Now tell me how real is that? God to weighed me and said, I got your back. Huh? That was like my man's. That, that, uh, I, and I, that taught me a lot, you know, too. And he died. He was and like then that. we went two days, so sep- September 13th. He was like that. Yeah. You also mentioned you was at 106 in part. Mm-hmm. Now I know some. some Maybe a little too young to understand how big that is. But at one yeah. point in time, 106 and Park was the place to be. Yeah. If you were somebody, you were on yeah. 106 shout out Park. To, shout out to Mizzo and Kim. Kim for that one. Um, our manager at the time. 
we was so we we didn't get on the show, but we was there to have talks. You know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. and to figure out what was going on. You know, we were trying to pitch something at that point in time, and uh, we was in New York to uh, we actually had a meeting. I think we were at FIT. We was at the Fashion Institute, mm. if I'm not mistaken. And um, we stopped through there. Somebody had a line for 106. <laughs> and we popped up. And Fabulous was there. <laughs> and I ain't even gonna touch you. I had a chain that I bought from being in New York. I oh, was, right on the corner. And you, I think this is 2011. So yeah. I'm 20, 27 right now. I'm about to be 28. <laughs> I seen his chain, his Jesus piece. I took mine in. I ain't going to smoke. <laughs> oh, yeah, facts. Oh, no bull. Real, oh. real talk. Hey, how you doing, fam? Yeah, man. I ain't even get there. He was kind of like over there. So <laughs> just in know? case you got the opportunity. I ain't even want to. Yeah, Whoa. I just poo poo. You don't even worry about that. <laughs> that ain't even nothing. I'm trying to get. I'm, I'm trying. I'm gonna come up. It was a lot of. Stuff. You mean fam? You tucking your chain? Mm. Not these though, but you know I mean? that, 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 yeah. then. at that point in time, at, at that, that point, point in time, time then, yeah. so you you had your moment, you yeah. built something great, yeah, amazing, for for Delaware, you gave a blueprint, mm-hmm. but what do you got going on now? What what's in the works now? It's a lot, man. Like how how we came here was even the talks about the. Uh, the podcast that I really, you know, wanna wanna start off, but you know, like I said, I just I just been back. I've been home for about a year. You know, I did like two and a half. You know, so that's a lot in itself. And then trying to jump right back in, you know, because even before then, I was on house arrest for like eight months. Mm-hmm. You know, so not to even not not glorifying it, but right. this is a whole bunch of time that that's been allotted and taken away. So from two and a half plus to eight months on home confinement, not being able to go where. It's a lot of setback, you know what mm. I mean. So it's just it's just so much from but just getting back onto the music and uh, from I want to start my own imprint. Um, me and Rocco back in the studio, so just really linking up back with my bro, him getting me back right, you know. Right. Um, you know, Stax is home. He has his project. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, Boney just came home. He's mm-hmm. working on his project. So everybody, you know that that still that still around, still doing their thing, you know. But now, after everything that happened, because it's not like I can't act like situations ain't happening, like real situations, you know, that change people's lives. So I got kids now. This Rocco calling now. Look, it was a <laughs> yo, hey yo, I'm yeah. on a podcast, yo. bro. We, we were just talking. Just you talking. live right now. Nah, nah, you, nah, get, you, nah, you can hey, check in any time. I'm on here with, with Banks 101 right now, man. He been, he was just talking. <laughs> huh? What's going on? <laughs> yeah. I told him you was in a session. You was gonna slide. You was gonna slide if you could, but your session ran a little late. Yeah, yeah. I already oh, know. Look at you, bro. I already look know. At yeah, that's big dog. But I was, I, you know, I ain't gonna hold him tell all him, up. I'm tell up. him next Tuesday. Tu- hey, hey, next Tuesday. Next Tuesday, he said. Next Tuesday. Yeah, check your check your schedule right now. Next Tuesday. Seven o'clock. All right, we we got uh, another session. We got in. I'm coming got too. You. I'm ready to go. Huh? Got all you. right, is what it is. All right, I'm out. All right. All right, bro. All right, all right, bro. Yeah, there you Just go. like that. I thought it was eight o'clock, man. Just it like is that. eight o'clock. So, hey, but <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm busy gonna, busy I was gonna let it ride. We but hey, we're gonna on. push it was, back. We're gonna we can push it back. Come on, man, nigga time. He ain't got nothing. Ain't no nigga time over here. He ain't got nothing. You put it down. Damn, I forgot he be punctual. He be eight. We on time over here. He be eight. He be all right. We had to see that moment. We got a light skin number. We be on time. Rocco doing a lot, man. It's it's good to get him because he about to he about to fly out. He got a lot going on. Right. And bro, just I'm just so yeah, happy. For, honestly, I'm just happy to have you know him there, you know, and, and my bro Gilly because out of them and Stacks, I wouldn't have been where I'm at now, you know, mm-hmm. coming home and transitioning and getting back to where I'm getting to, you know. Other than you know my family, my aunts and stuff like that, but my folks, you know, immediate people to help you get back into society because it's real, man. Right. Well, speaking of Jay Prince, now you hear you hear you got stories about boogeyman. In the industry, you got Jay Prince. Mm-hmm. That's my guy. If I had a picture of people in my house, I'd have them. <laughs> you got you got Jay Prince. You got Suge Knight. You got Jimmy the Henchman. Now, out of all these guys, who is the one you would least want to cross? Well, like you didn't want to, you don't want to. Like you don't want to, you don't want to cross. Like you don't even want to cross paths uh, with so this guy. So who did you say? I well, Suge. 
Suge, yeah. Suge painted but, bad though. But but that's how just because how I feel. Bad. You didn't have to see Suge until you. Did you watch the brand. Vanilla Ice story? Yeah, yeah but that was that's one person. Come on, he it's did, not he one did. person. It was several people. I think yeah. I think. But Vanilla Ice, come on, man, ran off like he did something and Suge didn't pay somebody. So did you see when see Suge, he just man. hit somebody with a car? Yeah, he ran. Him what over. he did that time for? Ran over. He's, yeah, that's what. I think that's he's what he meant. killed him. I think he killed. He died. He died. He ain't make it. He died. Yeah, like this story. Uh, Bull Sean attacking. No, I'm talking about from the video. The guy that was trying to break it up, the one got ran over. Uh, Get out the way, move. Yeah. Okay. He's trying, trying to, yo, he's trying to get it. Yo, you just gotta, gotta have him. You, you gotta have him. You gotta have him. Yeah. Hey, yeah. 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 You need it. Yeah, yeah, but sugar, sugar's not because Jay Prince there. ain't he. Jay Prince is Jay not Prince somebody who poses just, a threat. That's somebody who like somebody just in your he gonna read you. And he's not somebody that is gonna smack you for no reason or whatever. Like you, you gotta watch. You know what I mean? I think and, and Jimmy Hitchman, I just think somebody who does a lot of business and it caught up with him. You know what I'm saying? He didn't know how to separate the streets and business. Like Jay Prince is a businessman. Don't get it wrong. He's so high up that he don't gotta do nothing. You know, but Just he wanna, built, you see his empire that he built. Now his sons has got the hottest artists in the game and they will forever have a part of that deal, you know, that they organized for them with Young Money. So outside of music, you got a podcast you're working on. Yeah, me and bro, um, and shout out to Trill too. Me and bro, when just been busting up, we watch a lot of, when I came home, all, every time we chilling and you know just vibing, it's a podcast or something. We, we watching like you know drink champs <laughs> or like Wallo looking yeah. at the like if I, my label would I want to start too like if okay. I had an A and R like bro be on hot new anything like, right. every time like two people I go to for the new music is him and my folks Trill and my folks Nova too shout out Rob but yeah yeah the podcast um honorable mention I came up with an idea just like. You know, it's a lot of people from here doing their thing, like you, legal. You, you know, what I'm saying any anybody independent, Quan Harris with the style, you know, D Home. You yeah, know, just man. so many people, Akibachis. You know, that's doing their thing with the food. You yeah. know, um, just a lot of people from Delaware. Any female doing selling eyelashes or any anything yeah, with man. that just you know that's supporting right it. Now. And um, Credit even to the, uh, yeah, to the community in the pan- pandemic. Let's get the bands. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But it's a lot of even black people from the politics and the sports. So that that don't get their just do or don't know you know yeah. spotlight on them. So I just looked at it like you know what better way? Like even in, ideally in admiration of what y'all got already going on here. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so yeah, to get I, I, I aspire to get something like this to where we boom the next thing is putting bringing y'all on to help me get it started yeah, you know what i'm saying man. this is you know what i mean whatever it is because yeah. that's what i just feel like that's an issue with with the black men in the community in itself to be shook about telling somebody you admire it right i, I mean just, I, I mean no, we're glad we're glad banks is so approachable right yeah yo, I, hit <laughs> banks, yo, I need to be yeah so banks is so approachable listen, 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 great man every time i come listen, here it's listen, any listen, year man i love listen, it here listen man. listen listen <laughs> let's, great let's, work let's, environment i had forgotten all about that he just brought it back yeah. up I had, you know, that was in the past I had to, I, that was in the past i'm just saying i'm just saying you know since everybody knows chris is just the friendliest guy to walk up to i'm very approachable yeah i'm very approachable hell no Oh, very hey, man. Well, now they got you talking now. I've been talking days. for almost two years yeah. now. We're going almost two years mark. Man. Word. That's yeah. How long have you been alive? He just started talking two years ago. <laughs> Word facts. What you stop? What you ain't talk? I've been my talking my whole career. What ain't man. Talk? It's a myth. It's a myth. Look, man, it's, it's a myth. Growing, look, Banks was talking around us because we knew how diabolical. That, like, right, I, right, right, remember right. the story I just told? What's going yeah, on right yeah. now? You got remember diabolical? the story I just. I, Diabolical. I'll take that. I'll, I'll take diabolical yeah, he was. Yeah, okay, say that. But now but now we get a little taste of it. Did you hear did you hear did you just hear the opening story? Yeah, he's crazy. Did you, did you just hear the opening story? Yeah, yeah. He would have never told that story yeah, yeah, yeah. ten years ago. Yeah, hell no. He was I would have told I just wouldn't have told it in public. There's a yeah. difference. There's a difference. There's a difference. And back to told. that, I always speak to you in Walmart when you were there. <laughs> I'll give you this or I'll give you this. But you were acknowledged. When when when, when you were when you <laughs> had your but back you were acknowledged. <laughs> anyway, just just to show you how approachable I am, you mentioned people doing the thing in the area. Time for our local shout out, and I'm going to give it to Marielle. Oh, I'm going to give it to Marielle. She lives in Boston, okay. but she's coming every summer. Dave, you remember? I do. 
Now, with that being said, that's illegal shout cousin. Out, shout out to shout out Body to, by Mari. Shout out to Mariel. Okay, She's a personal Mar- trainer, Mar- physical yeah. fitness. Mm-hmm. Ladies. Got the got the if online, do, uh, online training. Sessions. She does Zoom sessions. Ladies, got, if you got the out, got the fits. Yeah. That's the one joint at the uh from the uh from the wedding. Yup, you remember. You don't you don't know your own cousins. Awesome. That's not my cousin. Well it doesn't matter, I don't know your family tree. Look. <laughs> You see how yo, yo he always be trying to put like I say yo she's cute oh that's your cousin nah, like, that's the first what? one I said that but anyway <laughs> no, anyway you didn't. when I said Shorty had a fatty you said nigga that's your cousin I didn't say anything that was not my cousin that was my cousin's baby mother well that's just as bad but it doesn't matter <laughs> anyway back to the back to the local and I, shout and out I understood why he did it too yo crazy man but anyway <laughs> I support that uh, but <laughs> stupid. anyway back to this yo ladies if you are not satisfied with what you see in the mirror. You're unhappy. Mm-hmm. You think your man doesn't like you. <laughs> I don't know what's going on in your mind. Why if you don't you, got why, ten- can't, why can't you just have them glow up? Like why? Listen, I'm, so- I'm getting there. Let me. Let me. I, I got it. I got it. Mm-hmm. I'm getting there. If you want to glow up, like illegal said, you don't got the ten thousand for surgery. Mm. <laughs> oh, come on. We're, we're going for the built, not bought scenario mm-hmm. here. You need you a body by Mari. Mm-hmm. You need you a waist trainer from Body by Mari. Mm-hmm. You need your outfit from Body by Mari. Mm-hmm. You need to get them Zoom workouts from Body by Mari. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You need that, and it's mm-hmm. affordable, ladies. It's affordable. Mm-hmm. That's the most important. That. I know you. Mm-hmm. I, you I know where it goes. It's affordable. Mm-hmm. Keyword it there. It is. Maybe, oh, maybe you, keyword. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you feel your man's not appreciate you. Diabolical. But let me tell you this: if you work out and you do your thing, I'll notice. Oh. That's all that really matters. Oh. I notice and I appreciate you. Yeah. I, Get you right can, for the summer. I can tell you notice from the group chat. I notice. <laughs> That's a work. Yeah. The work anyway, outfit. there you go. Get Body by Mari. Get Body that. By Mari. Body by Mari. There you go. <laughs> Holy crap. Uh, talk about dropping the ball, Banks. Drop the ball. Yeah, just drop the hammer and gave our dad on hell of a promo. Yeah, that was. For free. All right. We're going to wrap this up on a high note. Yeah, we we're been gonna rocking, too. We're like, going to wrap this up. We can zone out for a second. <laughs> we did for a minute. We're we're the Henny, I ain't drunk in a second. <laughs> Why don't you let them know where you can find y'all at? Ah, uh, man. Uh, find me at I want in underscore no say on the gram. Uh... What is it? No say, no say on the book. Mm, we on we on a clubhouse too. Okay. Club you got some invites. Too. Yeah, yeah. I think I got like what, yeah, some, what, what two? Okay. 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 I'm just on there. I didn't. No, okay. not yet. I didn't. Nah, but I'm, I'm saying I just my aunt just sent me clubhouse. So you send me the join up so I can at least be in it. I can oh, say, yeah. look, I want to be on there talking about, yeah, yeah I, I seen this nigga when he started. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So now we could be on there like yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. I, I need to go there and get my started. And if you shit not, if you if you shit not, I seen you about to talk. I, I talked right before you did. <laughs> if you shit not, Agent Zero or something, nigga. Nah. Like, nah, we don't even want to hear that joke, honestly. <laughs> Agent Zero, the snake. Nah, Yo, Agent Zero. <laughs> follow me on the gram, Gilly Season. Mm-hmm. Gilly mm-hmm. underscore Gilly season. season. Yeah, yeah I want Gilly underscore no say. Awesome. You can find DJ Illegal you at. Know where I'm at. You know where he's at. Mm-hmm. You know where he's at. You can find the Fiend Slayer at. Oh, oh man. I'm gonna tell you every time. Looking back. Shout out she to the guys, fiend. man. Wasn't a Fiend when we team, nigga. That's how I'm gonna be a Wasn't a Fiend when we team. Right, 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 <laughs> right. right. <laughs> But you can find a light skin nigga at an uh, unidentified uh, black man because that's what we are at the end of the day. Mm-hmm. That's it. We out. One, one.